few years ago when I found out the Atlanta Falcons were getting new uniforms, I had a lot of hope for them to produce some pretty special jerseys. A great color scheme, a brand new stadium, and a chance to start new after a torturous Super Bowl loss, it seemed like the perfect chance to start a new era. However, they came out with some questionable uniforms and the football world really hasn't come around to them yet. The helmet is pretty great and the throwback is good of course, but the ATL logo and the striping all could have been better. The gradient jersey is a unique idea, but let's be honest, it's not a good look. So I've decided to redesign their uniforms and implement some ideas I think would have been cool to see. This is actually my second go at redesigning the Atlanta Falcons uniforms. You might have seen the first go in my NFL redesign video on my other channel, uh, but this is a whole new uh, design concept, all brand new uniforms. So if you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like and check out my other thread fixes, including the Rams and Marlins, as well as my other videos and subscribe if you enjoy them. These designs are made in Photoshop using mock-up templates from my store, templatefc.com. So if you're interested in creating your own football jerseys or other sports jerseys, be sure to check that out. And let's go ahead and get started. First of all, like I mentioned earlier, the new Falcons helmet is pretty awesome. So the only change I made was making it look more glossy or reflective. I just personally like the glossy reflective helmets in the indoor stadiums as opposed to the matte helmets, which the Falcons have. Both look good, but that's just my personal preference. There are four uniforms that use this helmet, and I have some other helmets to show off too, since the NFL has finally decided to get rid of the one helmet rule, so we can finally have more than one colored helmet again. The first of these uniforms is the home, which is all black. I personally really like the red home too, but the Falcons are going with the all black home, so I thought I would follow suit there. The design is inspired by their stadium and their logo, both of which feature very sharp edges and straight lines. So the striping is mainly inspired by the logo with the sharp angled sections and going from a thicker shape to a thinner shape, which you can see on the sleeves there and the pants. The sleeve trim and collar feature some thinner triangular shapes, which is mostly inspired by the look of the stadium. And these are subtler designs that really wouldn't stand out too much. Obviously when you're up close, you can really see them. but if if I zoom out, you can see that they kind of blend in with the jersey and you just see the thicker striping, which is kind of what I was going for. The other jerseys that use this helmet include the main away white on black and the all white away, as well as the red on white home alternate. Throughout the uniform, there is a faint pattern created from the striping shapes, and I'm not sure how much will stand out in the video because this is supposed to be a super subtle um, design. For my design though, I obviously make it stand out a little bit more so you can see it, but this was to represent like feathers, however, like staying in our sharp theme so the shapes are pretty abstracted with the sharp angles and things like that. The Atlanta logo on the front and the number font base was actually made by Dribble user Frobro Studio or Christopher Wilson. I modified the number font a little bit to include more sharpness to fit with my design a little better and I added some nice little lines on the front to give it a little more character. The white jersey features a reflective silver stroke going around the numbers which would complement the silver like chromed out face mask and usually I don't go with a drop shadow on the numbers because I think it's a little tacky in a lot of uniforms. Uh, but for this one here, I think it looks great because you can blend it with the stroke as well and make the number pop a little more and give the design some more interest. The next helmet option we have is the red helmet with the black face mask. And this is more of a reflective red with a matte face mask, which I think is a pretty interesting style. The all red uniform is inspired by their Color Rush uniform, which they had a few years ago, which I thought was a pretty good look. The black numbers on the red jersey, I think looks great. Of course, you could mix and match this helmet with the other uniforms too, but I also made an alternate white specifically for this helmet, which features red numbers instead of the black. And all these uniforms have the same socks going on uh, with these simple striped socks because NFL teams need to start using more interesting socks, if we're being honest. A lot of socks are just one color, it's kind of boring. So I just added some simple stripes here. You don't have to go crazy, but it adds a little more character to the design in my opinion. There are two more helmets left and each go with its own uniform. The first is a throwback since the Atlanta throwback is pretty awesome. I really like it. I use the current logos though, rather than the old ones because I really, really like their current logo. It's very similar to their old logo, and I just think it would be a really good uniform to use the modern day logo. Adding the modern logos would make it more acceptable to wear this uniform more, and it still looks good. The throwback, by the way, looks so much better with the red helmet than the black that they currently use because of the helmet rule. You can see this is more of a matted helmet, although it's still glossy, it's just not as reflective and more how the helmets used to look. The final uniform is what I would call the blackout uniform, and it features a lot of black on black and red accents. There's basically no white in this uniform and the black and red combo looks very fierce and befitting in the design in my opinion. The helmet for this one is matte black with the glossy logo and stripe finish which I think looks really good. If you're familiar with my college football redesign series you know I love uniforms that only use two colors and this is the case here. Although I did implement a little bit of dark gray to stand out from the black a little bit, everything is just black and red. 
My two main focuses for this redesign were a nice sleeve striping design and a nice red uniform. Two things I wanted to see the Falcons do in real life that they ended up not doing, so I really try to focus on them here. Let me know what you think of these jerseys and how they compare to the actual Falcons jerseys. And if you enjoyed, please leave a like on the video and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Also check out my thread fixes with the Rams and the Marlins, as well as my other redesign videos here on this channel. You can follow me on Twitter at Quezzy and Instagram that's Quezzy where I post a lot of different design stuff, mostly soccer stuff there, but I'm hoping to be posting more of like this sort of thing as well. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Peace.